Hey guys, let me show you a really cool feature in uh, Studio One Professional, and that's uh, working with MIDI tracks here, how you can make something that might sound a little sterile, and we're going to give it a little bit more authenticity or humanize it up a little bit. And you can hear I've pretty much just got a basically kind of a dance thing happening here, but I'm going to zero in on the drums, and uh, you can see what I'm talking about. Let me just go ahead and mute these other tracks. And I'll just get this on the MIDI, on the editor here. And you can see that we're pretty much a straight line here where we're edited. That uh, everything is just lining up and that may not be really what you want. That uh, it just kind of makes it sound sterile. And so what I'm going to do is humanize this and by humanize we're going to create a little air that's e-r-r-o-r -R -R, error <laughs> goofy word but let me just show you exactly what i'm talking about here and if i just go up to the track and i highlight the track and you can go to humanize and you notice you've got two uh, amounts here. You can humanize or you can humanize less. I'm just going to go ahead and humanize and then watch the MIDI notes down there. See how they kind of moved a little bit? And let me turn up the drums so you can hear this. And you can do this as much or, or as little as you want. And I'm just going to go ahead and humanize again. You can see they're just slightly moving each time I do it. And you can hear it's getting a little sloppy there. And of course I could do this to all my tracks. And this particular tune I think uh, my preference is, is to keep it pretty much more straight in the grid. Just to kind of depend on the music that you like to uh, create. I'm just going to really get this out of whack here so you can hear and it's sounding like the drummer here might have uh, not had enough sleep and you can really see looking at the velocities I'm really hearing it on the kick now And let me just go back to uh, where it was. I'm just, uh, you can go up to edit and go to history. And you can see how many times I've humanized it. I'm just going to basically go back to where it was. Now for good or bad, I actually like things lined up pretty nicely. And I don't use the humanize function quite a, a lot. Occasionally I'll do it a little bit, but uh, it's my personal preference, but I know a lot of people will say, oh, that drum track sounds pretty sterile, but uh, to me, I, I like it right on the beat. And like I say, for this type of music, I think it's important to line up on the beat, but in those instances where you want to go ahead and kind of goof up your music a little bit, with the, uh, having the computer decide how you want to goof it up, here's how you do it in Studio One Professional. It's actually a really pretty cool feature, but uh, that's it for today. I'm going to let you guys go. Have a good one, and forget uh, <laughs> that, you know what I'm saying about some of this stuff is being kind of goofy. But anyway, remember to subscribe. We'll talk to you later.